I'm back in the jungle behind the backyard uh, just to see what's going on. I have a little trail that goes back here a little bit. And <laughs> it's a real windy day. It's wild back here, all sorts of critters. And uh, this is classic um, saw palmetto. You know, I, I don't know what you could call it, <laughs> jungle, I guess. Saw palmetto with... Uh, and then, of course, your overstory is uh, longleaf pine and occasionally some oak trees here. So it's a really interesting, super dense habitat. They're mostly dry, uh, dry in the winter, but uh, <laughs> more to the point, I come down here and see this. This is about the most precious thing I've seen in a long, long time. And this is a tiny little turtle. This one, I mean, I can't believe how small this is. Oh, um... A number of years ago, I saw a Florida, I think it was a mud turtle, but uh, these things can live to be 50 or 60 years old. But just to give you an idea how precious this little guy is, this is my thumb. <laughs> I just happened to see this guy. He's, uh, it's not a very sunny day, it's a real windy day. And uh, it's just a little bit of, of an open area here in the jungle. I think this. This little fella was uh, trying to get a little bit of sun. You don't see land turtles out much that are that small. I mean, his cute little his cute little feet are. I mean, not even anywhere near as big as one of my fingernails. Just how little the guy is. Not bad. I don't want to molest him much. Let me take a look at him here. Hey there, little guy. I did a little res quick research on my phone, and he's a three stripe mud turtle. He wants to go, yeah. I don't want to stress him out. He's so precious, little fella. What's the gorgeous little turtle? Yeah, it's beautiful. I'll put him back down on his log. And he can... either take off or continue uh, sunning. Put him back here. Turtle, that small one's got to be a little bit careful because uh, anything, you know, a raccoon, whatever, you just uh, have him for a little snack. A shell. I guess it's a uh, shell. Is, uh, it's not even, well, I would say the entirety of a show is maybe two inches long, so that's uh, pretty incredible. So definitely don't want to hinder him. I'm just letting him. Uh, I'm just going to stand back in the distance and observe the little guy. Yeah, I left him alone, and I'm hiding over here in the bushes. So he's going about his merry way. Definitely not interested in water. Just living amongst all the litter on the floor.
We got like a seed pot or something attached to it. Kind of burrowing down under all that deep leaf litter. That's probably where he finds food, all sorts of bugs down there. That's interesting. Like I said, I'm not an expert on turtles by any means. I hear Mr. Cardinal out here checking me out. Yeah, the, the uh, forest litter here is so thick. Many inches thick. That he probably just burrows down underneath there and finds all sorts of bugs and stuff. There he goes. Now that's interesting. He's going underneath the underneath the forest litter. Underneath that dead old palmetto tree. Saw palmetto. And that's probably his normal hiding place right there. You'd hardly ever see him if you didn't know he went there. That's an interesting insight into the ecology of this kind of environment. He can really, it's so small, he can almost just crawl around underneath the forest, underneath the uh, litter on the forest floor. And I'm sure it's full of bugs down there, so. Nice to meet you, little buddy. Carry on. <laughs> the Blue Jay found me.